Hi folks, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be reviewing a battery. Yes, a battery. Now if you're into tiny whoops, which I am, then um, you might be interested in this new battery that's out. It's a GMB 380mAh uh, high volt 1S battery, which is uh, 60 to 120C um, and 1.44 watt hour. Um, if that means anything to you, we have a pH to uh, connect on, on a pigtail. Um, this weighs 8 gram. Well, I'll go through what they all weigh. The newbie, the newbie drone nectar, which is that one there, is uh, 8.3 gram. The crazy pony is 7.8. The GMB 350, which is longer, is 8.4. And the My Lipo is 8.4 as well so as you can see it's, it's uh, quite a lot shorter than any of the other any other batteries even the newbie drone one it, well it's about the same size as the newbie drone one but um, the best the best one that I can compare it to would be the lightest one which is the crazy pony it's around about the same the same length but it's only um, what was it again uh, 8.1 8 .8 gram yeah 8.1 gram and that's with with the um, connector so it's it's very good if you're into um, into whoop racing and you want a battery that lasts quite long the unique thing is it is a 380 it's lighter it's the same size as a 300 and it's a high volt um, I've got two flight tests I'm, I'm gonna put up after this video one will be a, a brushed um, whoop or like toothpick style whoop 1s obviously and the second one I've got down as brushed but it's actually a brushless one so I've got one brushed and one brushless um, you'll, you'll know anyway from the video I've, I've just had my COVID jab my second COVID jab and I'm a bit bit all over the place um, but yeah one's brushed and one's brushless so um, you'll be able to compare the times um, I've done videos on on all these batteries before so if you want to know about how the new big drone Nectar, uh, 300 milliamp an hour battery is, and the GM, GMB 350. I've um, I've got a. If you go through my channels, you'll see the um, you'll see the uh, video on that related battery and the flight time. I always include a flight time with it, um, brushed and brushless yet again. Okay, well that's it for now, uh, guys. Um, Watch, watch the two flight videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay folks, so my first flight is with my um, my brushed quad. With, uh, I'm running 7x20 motors on this. And uh, this is one I built myself. Uh, it's a low KV. Um, but I've got 55mm props on this. And I've tried every other prop there is known to man, and this one is what performs the best. These are the uh, Hubson 55 mil blades. Now I've had to I've had to run them clear because if I done it, used any other colour on it, because um, you can get these in different colour props, including black, um, it gave me a lot of jello. So I'm using these clear props because it's the only ones that don't give me jello. Well, not really bad jello um, and it seems to work well with a camera uh, so yeah I'm, I'm trying this out first I, I'm not I'm not using this on high volts I'll just charge this to the standard um, you know uh, 4.20 uh, voltage um, and I get quite a good time out of it now if I high volt this it will give me Probably about an extra 30 seconds um, with a little bit more freestyle at the beginning, but um, 
I don't really want to degrade these batteries because uh, I might be getting some more of these because these are the same sort of length and um, one of the lightest weight uh, batteries that are, that are even lighter than my 300s well almost anyway but they're, they're practically the same length I think I want to keep these in good condition as possible so I want to try and um, not high volt them too often anyway so here I am flying around my local park for some reason I'm getting a really bad video range on this I can usually clear the whole length of this um, without any interference but I think I've, I'm using the wrong antennas in my goggles see I, I can usually go beyond them trees there for about another 50 meters easily but I don't know look, it's, it's really crapping out bad um, so I don't know I'm having a bit of trouble with uh, one of the wires um, one of the battery wires on this as well it kept coming loose so I've had to sort of wedge it in there I'm only using a standard um, PH2 connector um, but uh, a solid pin one but I think I think the uh, wires a bit a bit dodgy on it um, yeah so I'm just flying this about just I'm trying to keep it sort of close by within a hundred meters from me in case um, the battery goes at any point because I haven't got telemetry on here um, and also the grass is quite long and this well I do come down in the grass right at the end and uh, it took me quite a while to find it and it wasn't very far from where I was standing that's how deep this grass is you'll see in a minute I'll come down quite close to me and um, you, you can see how tall this grass is but um, yeah it's going quite well now, this isn't really a flight test it's just more of a, um, a test for the battery just to see. so I'm, I'm sort of throwing a little bit of freestyle in and sort of cruising around it it's sort of like half throttle three quarter throttle so I've you know I'm, I'm using the battery up as much as I can without sort of bimbling about too much and uh, that'll give a sort of indication of uh, how well this this is coping with the KV trying to make it um, you know usable as you see I, I crash in a minute because the battery just I'm, I'm on full throttle and the battery just craps out I mean that's the last of the power loops I, I can do on it and then it just craps out but the overall time is uh, quite impressive I think considering the, the type of flying I'm doing but um, yes yeah, good I like these batteries I definitely want to get some more of these I'm just keeping it close by now so I know at any minute now it's good or any second now it's gonna see this is where I come down that's how tall that grass is any any second now I'm gonna come down and I don't want to go hunting for it in this tall grass and here we go bosh okay folks so this is the brushed um, version and uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit of cruising and gentle acro you know the sort of thing like an average flyer would use so we get a fair representation of the battery both in brushed and brushless versions uh, so I haven't flown this in a while so in nearly a year I think so I'm just sort of taking it out and about to get used to the controls so I've got a total different transmitter for this I use a beta FPV one um, which was all set up already um, I don't like the position of the switches which is why I started off in horizon it's uh, just just below the um, you know the uh, motor start and stop switch and uh, I, I've often killed it in midair trying to switch modes and uh, ended up disarming it and uh, dropping it but anyway so uh, yeah just trying a few uh, sort of tree dives there and notice there's no your washout not yet anyway there will be once we get to the end of the battery you'll notice um, I'll do a couple of 
simple manoeuvres and uh, it, it will yaw, um, wash out a bit. And that's because it's at the end of the battery and it just hasn't got any more poke left. Um, that's why it does it. It's not actually a flight characteristic as such. It's just the battery is really sagging by that point. But um, yeah, uh, I reckon with um, a gentle cruise around with a little bit of light acro, um, I reckon you can get five minutes if you high volt it. Um, but uh, just bimbling about, I got uh, just over four minutes. Now I did crash and the battery did um, kind of recover a little bit but what I've done is I've taken I've taken 20 seconds off the flight so um, it's it's on average I, I did fly two batteries as well so on average it worked out to be about four minutes usable flight which isn't bad you know bear, bearing in mind this is brushless and um, I've got the newbie newbie drone gold motors in this just the stock motors so um i think they're eighteen thousand kv so they're quite power hungry with uh, z props on them so there's a lot of thrust involved and everything so it's quite a power hungry quad for what it is there i see it done it done a um, wash out there it's it's because it's i mean it's reading three point two volts but i wouldn't go by that i've i've never i've never calibrated it when i went to recharge the battery again it was on 3.52 volts so i had plenty left this is where i i accidentally uh clipped clipped a branch now i've taken the 20 seconds it's taken me to find this and rearm it or round about 20 seconds and uh I've subtracted that from the actual flight but I didn't want to edit this bit because I wanted I wanted a true representation of, of the uh, whole flight it's not long to wait anyway but um yeah so I'll find it and I'll bring it back to its spot uh, there's not really much usable battery power left see it's 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 jumped straight back down to to three volts well 3.4 now see what i mean you can't really you can't really go by that i'll just fly this till i drop out the sky as long as i can find it quick it won't drain the battery it'll always recover a little bit but um yeah see this is the only usable power i've got now it's just bimbling about and it it'll, it'll drop now I'll just go around that little tree around there and it'll just it'll just drop but there you have it anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one bye